Welcome to IDB everyone, Andrew here. iOS 11.2 has hit the fourth beta, which means it's getting really close to being released publicly to everyone. This beta was incredibly small, coming in at around 40 megs depending on which phone you happen to have. We are still missing a few big features from iOS 11, including iMessages in the cloud and AirPlay 2. Neither of those have showed up, but we did see the addition of Apple Pay in one of the recent betas. Beta 4 really just contains bug fixes. There's not really anything noticeable, though for those on the beta and they have the new iPhone X, the responsive screen has been fixed in cold weather. Before, it would not tend to work, and Apple fixed it with a public release of iOS 11.1.2, but they've also included that fix in this latest beta. As a refresher of other things that you can expect inside of iOS 11.2, we have the implementation of Apple Pay in Messages, as well as the Apple Pay Cash Card, we have the feedback app added to beta builds. Some emojis have been tweaked. The infamous calculator bug has been fixed. Faster 7.5 watt of power can be used now while wireless charging. There are additional live wallpapers for the iPhone 10. There are explainer images for Control Center as well as tweaks to how the buttons look when they're activated or not activated. And introductory pricing for subscription-based applications. As usual, I ran the CPU Geekbench test a couple times just to see what numbers I'm pulling up, and after a couple of runs, I'm usually averaging just around mm, maybe 8,500 to 9,000 in that multi-core score. We're likely not to see very many other tweaks or changes or really improvements in these betas because we are so close to release. Hopefully, in iOS 11.3, we'll see those other missing features like iMessage in the Cloud and AirPlay 2. Now, while we have had the beta for a couple of hours now to play around and see what we can find, there hasn't been many changes. So if we did miss anything, be sure to let us and everyone else know down below in the comments. Let us know what you think of the betas, how it's working for you, is battery life better, worse, the same? All that should go down below in the comments. Otherwise, I'd love if you could give this video a thumbs up so we can keep these videos coming and go ahead and click on that big red subscribe button to be updated anytime there's something new. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.